Cave Carson has a Cybernetic Eye issue one, which only Matt has read, unfortunately, which is not intentional. I actually did want to read this, and I just I forgot that it came out this week. Yeah. I, I I recommend picking it up. It it's so I've only read one Young Animal. I started Shade before we started recording, uh, based off of your guys' split. Um, but we all know how I felt about Doom Patrol. So, um, but Cave Carson seemed like my kind of thing. Like he's an old school DC hero that was part of like the challenges of known challenges of the unknown and rip Hunter, like cut from that cloth. And, um, so I was excited to see what this is. And basically I was telling Connor before we recorded, it's kind of like the Incredibles to where Cave Carson and his team have done these adventures, but it's later in life. And it starts with his wife passing away of a sickness. that's not touched on. Um, and he's like racked with grief and his daughter's in college and he is sold, basically sold his, his spelunking. Cause that's his thing was he would go into the center of the earth and have adventures. He was like the super spelunker and he had this mole car that he had developed, which from what I get is kind of like the, um, in, you know, in the Ninja Turtles cartoon, how they would get to and from the Technodrome. Yeah. Like that drill type of car. It's kind of one of those. So it digs through the earth, and that's where he goes on adventures. See, he sold that technology to another company. I'm thinking a Total Recall when you say that. Or Total Recall. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, and, and it's just basically a day in his life as he goes about his business, and he has his cybernetic eye, and it creeps people out, you know, and it, it basically acts as, as his window to the world. And he's kind of sad and lonely because his life is completely different than what he expected it to be. Um, so just for a first issue, it sets all that up. The art by Oming is fantastic because it's got that, you know, pop art kind of style to it with the, with the dark lines and cartoony feel. So, I mean, it's still a young animal, but it's set in the DCU. Like they, they bring up uh, is different... It brings up current events then. Not current events, but, like, people that you would have heard of. Like, he goes to Doc Magnus, and the Metal Men are there. Right. So, okay. yeah, so it could be out of continuity, but it is set in a DC universe where yeah. there's superheroes and and that. Um, That's important. But, yeah, so I'm definitely going to keep going with this one. Uh, it's up right up my alley. Um, and I'm what was cool, too, it. is... Yeah, I don't know if Shade did this because I haven't finished it, but there was like a, an article at the end about the characters. And in this one, it, it singled out Shade and uh, Cave. Yeah. So that was that was pretty fun. Kind of developing that world. Almost. I can't remember. I was in such a rush trying to fit in Shade that I just, as soon as I got to the last page, that was it. I'm done. Gotcha. But yeah, I definitely highly recommend it. It's the art and the story really are there. So and it's not too out there. Like yeah, there's some out there kind of things, and I'm sure it'll get there um, once he he starts on this journey. But again, it just felt like a day in the life of a former hero, and I really like that. 